Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you on the ROP or the reorder point and also related to safety stock. Okay, what is ROP? ROP is the level in your inventory in which you need to start ordering for new stock coming. So it's a level which is the minimum that when it reach the certain level, then you need to reorder. Okay. So we look at the first question. Okay, the first question we want to know whether is it ROP with the safety stock or not. So from this information, daily demand. When we talk about daily demand, is the demand every day. When the word daily, it will hit with the idea of days, right? So daily demand is 300 units. When you talk about annual demand, is the demand per year. The capital D. Daily demand is the small d. So for, for ROP, we need to use the small d for daily demand. Okay. The first information that we have daily demand, 300. And we have 24 days. Inventory is counted. Okay. And then we have 12 days for knife to be delivered, in which that means the lead time. When you order, so it will arrive 12 days later after you order. Okay. That's the lead time. Then assume the company do not require safety stock. Okay, so there's no safety stock involved for this ROP calculation. And then the <coughs> question asks you what the quantity at the inventory level so that you will start to order. Okay, so we check there's no Z value, there's no ROP involved. Uh, sorry, there's no safety stock involved. So which formula to use? Just use the basic formula of ROP in which Daily demand, okay, times the lead time because there's no safety stock. So, you have the D information, the, two, uh, the L lead time, so we tie in into the formula, so we have 3,600. Okay. So, that's a very simple question. Okay, let's see next question. Okay, from this question, you know that it will involve safety stock because the Z value. So you know that it's gonna 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 involve with the Z value formula. So let's see what demand that they give you for this question. They give you the yearly demand or the annual demand. So it's the capital D. So be careful on that. So you need to convert to the small d, the daily. So the lead time receive order from the supplier is normally distributed. Okay, with the mean. So they give you the mean lead time of four days. And standard deviation involved. So it means that you need to look for the sigma. So standard deviation represent by sigma in the ROP formula. So they give you two days, the standard deviation of the time. Calculate the ROP if it operates 300 days per year. Okay, first information, capital D, because it's annual demand, you need to convert later on. And then we have the mean lead time. So Mean lead time is four days and standard deviation, sigma, because in days, you know that it's lead time. It's about time. So you know that this is a sigma LT. Then it operates 300 days. So since we have Z values, so we're going to involve with this three formula. But which one to use? We look at the information we have. So now we have sigma lead time. Standard deviation of the lead time, so it's going to be which one? This one. So we're going to definitely use this one, and also we have the mean lead time. So we will use this formula. So we need to find the small d first. So how to find the small d? It's easy when we have the demand per year, we know the operation days, three days, 300, sorry, 300 days per year. So we get 47. Per day is daily demand. So we have small d, we have the lead time, the mean lead time, we have the z value from here. Again, we have already the daily demand and sigma lead time. So just plug in everything. So <clears throat> we're going to have this one. Okay. So this is the ROP. Okay. And then remember when it's in the this is about unit, about products. We need to round up. So for 319.98, we need to answer as 392. 
So how do you know which one is the reorder point? Okay. So reorder point is the total. So which one is the safety stock? Safety stock is the this part. Okay, the zag with the zag here. So this is the safety stock. So if they ask what is the safety stock, it's the 204. Okay, so ROP is the total and the, if they ask about the safety stock, is this one is the safety stock. Okay, <clears throat> let's see the next question. Okay, so this is about a smartphone. Okay, and then again, we check what information they give us here. See, again, there's a Z value. So whenever Z value, it will involve with the safety stock. Okay, and they give us annual, annual. When you hear the word annual, is capital D. Okay. 180, the stock for 360 days per year. Daily usage is normally distributed with standard deviation of 2 unit per day. Okay, it's we involved with the sigma when you see the word standard deviation. And it's about units. Okay, it's about product. And then formally, the lead time. Okay, lead time, LT is 5 days. Assume normality and seasonality is not a factor. What is ROP? First, this is an information D, capital D, because it's annual. It opened 360, so you need to convert capital D to smaller D. Okay. Next, something to do with the <coughs> lead time. Oh, sorry, uh, with the demand here, okay. So we know that is sigma D because it regarding the unit, okay, the product. And then the lead time is five days, okay. So we have Z value. So again, we need to choose these three. This one is definitely not because sigma is in the time. So either this one or this one, okay. So what information that we have here, <clears throat> okay. So since this is the sigma D, so definitely it's this one. So these are the correct formula. So we need to convert the capital D to small D. We have 180. We have 360 days per year. So we have 0 0.5. So we have to plug in everything. Okay. This is the D. Okay, the lead demand. And then we have the lead time in everything. So we have 10. Unit. So whenever it reaches 10 units, so you need to order. Okay. So <clears throat> I've shown you a few uh, ROP type of questions. So I need you, I hope you understand. So be careful on extracting the information that you have, whether it's a capital D or smaller D, whether the, when they give you Z value, you know that it will involve the safety stock. And it's going to give you the sigma. Okay, check whether it's the sigma in term of time or it's sigma in term of unit. Okay, so I hope you understand. All right, thank you.